I've told the story many, many times before. So one more time, it's not going to do any harm. So um, I'm sitting here with a producer. Um, I'm sitting here with a producer, um, Fernando Perdigal. Uh, he is a three-time Grammy Award winner, and uh, he has taken over producing the show, getting uh, all the musicians together for a Save the Play launch event. All these messages are coming flying through here. Um, it's a Save the Play. What we decided to do is create a platform for the musicians. First of all, the musicians work, as everybody knows, it's been well advertised. So we wanted to create um, the most beautiful outdoor venue the world has ever seen. And uh, I think we have got that right with um, um, the Table Bay Nature Reserve and the Milneton Aquatic Club in particular have uh, offered us their premises. Um, also struggling at the moment because uh, Nobody's allowed to use the water, no water sports. Nobody's allowed to go into the water um, uh, due to the fact that um, the E. coli levels of the water, uh, the levels are very high. All right. So um, also, um, so that puts strain on the Milneton Aquatic Club. Obviously, um, members can't use their, their sailboats. Uh, windsurfers cannot use the water. I think we've got about six of the top 10 windsurfers uh, in the world Six of the top ten come from uh, the Monster Patrick Club, which is very impressive. There's kite foiling there and um, and so forth, which is uh, spectacular to watch as you drive past. Uh, that's all come to a standstill. Um, the corrosion and the uh, dilapidating infrastructure of um, uh, the sewage pipes and so forth uh, is causing spills, which is going into the into the replay um, into the replay. So uh, that is uh, mainly the cause of um, the pollution um, that is um, that they have to overcome over there in some way or form. So uh, I entertain SA with Ham Renewable Energy. Uh, we have uh, devised a plan where we've uh, put uh, musicians, which is the entertainment side. Um, um, so that's um, the music side together with uh, an environmental side um, to host a specialized event, a music event where we've got, I think it's probably the largest amount of musicians playing at one venue um, in a day between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. on Saturday, the 9th of October. Um, so there, I think we're making history. The backdrop is a beautiful, the fairest of them all, Table Mountain in the backdrop with the beautiful uh, foreground. Mike is muted, man. Hello? Could you hear me? Okay. So, um, so then we've got the students from the Rainbow Academy coming, and then we're also there to support the uh, M and M uh, Music Academy, uh, owned by uh, Rolf Pearson, um, and uh, he's done a lot for. Um, so is Godfrey, actually. The two of them are outstanding. A teacher. Music. It's a gift that uh, it's a beautiful gift to give anybody. So uh, we'll have all the students performing theatre, magic, uh, singing, um, playing their, their their instruments, enjoying themselves out in the sun and uh, on a beautiful lawn. We can cater for 250 people for the live show. We are going to stream the event worldwide um, to America, UK, if we've got it everywhere. You can just go and get it on our platform, www.iEntertainSA.com. That is the platform that we're going to be streaming from. And um, then our finale, old uh, Desmond's going to be bringing the community uh, Philharmonic Orchestra there. They have a 10-year-old boy that, like, how can I say, if, you're not, uh, if you don't cry, you're not human. This, this boy is phenomenal. Uh, he will be doing a beautiful song. 
Foundation will be uh, um, orchestrating, uh, conducting his orchestra and uh, having fun and interacting with the, 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 the crowd. So um, we've opted for, for these um, artists as uh, we feel that they're a great mix of musicians. Um, so while we're creating a platform for the musicians to play, we're opening up and showing the world the location where we would like to um, use our waste um, uh, waste management to renew energy um, technology. There are, it's not an idea. There are already two, two operating uh, um, renewable technologies like this in Italy, um, in the north and in the south, where we take basically our human waste, our garbage, and uh, we use this to fuel this um, latest technology that turns our fuel, our garbage into um, uh, electrical energy. Uh, one ton of human waste or garbage um, can keep the lights powered in a house, can keep the lights in six houses, sorry, um, running, which is, um, which is fantastic. So while we're cleaning up the environment, uh, we're also um, creating electricity for all of the Cape Townians. We'd like to do it in Cape Town and start off over here All right, and now, okay, cool. Hello, Hirsch. All right, cool. I saw it was uh, red, but uh, no one has said anything to me, so I thought I would just continue. Where should I carry on from? Okay. Akila. What do you so? Yeah. It says you're in the show and everyone can see and hear you. So I'll continue then. So it's only the last 10 seconds that you could not hear. All right. So when it comes to the ticket sales, Hi, that's I'm where here. I was at. So Hi. Oh, I've been talking the whole time. Are you listening? How about have I been doing? Hello. Good off good afternoon, Hi. everyone. Hi, good afternoon. Is it so yes, and um, we'll be back now, and of course, the October. So excited about the nature conservation. So we are joined by Hirsch, if I'm correct, and Mark Hirsch. and Mr. Hirsch. Fernando as well. And um, the yet speak about and um, exactly how this initiate well this initiative started. All right. Okay, from the beginning, uh, myself and uh, a friend of mine actually came to visit me. He was hosting uh, open nights at the local restaurants and so forth. His name is uh, Ricky Peterson. And um, he was uh, complaining that all his work's been taken away. And I thought, well, um, you know, let me see if I can help him. Um, I mean, that's what we do for each other. We, we help each other, we're friends. And, um, you know, we help anyone, actually, anyone that we can, um, if, if it's in our capability to do so. So um, mm -hmm. that was in, I think, January, end of January. Uh, this yeah. year, we started uh, trying to uh, get um, advertising 
for open mic nights and we started off at the Goodwood uh, showgrounds in um, in Goodwood. Um, Chad was the, the owner there of the, of the club and uh, he was uh, um, a very, very cool guy. He opened up his club for us on a Thursday night where we started hosting artists and uh, I realized then that um, people started to dribble in a little bit at a time, but um, we weren't really doing enough. There wasn't any income coming in. Uh, from our side, mm -hmm. we were just giving a platform to perform, and uh, I realized then that we're sitting with a lot of great talent in this uh, in this city. It's the first time I've been exposed to uh, the music industry, and now I'm, yeah. I'm very glad that I'm in it. And uh, then I opened up a company, I Entertain SA. It's actually called Is It Entertainment SA, because mm -hmm. uh, when I grew up, it was a cool thing to say, like, is it, is it? So <laughs> I thought it's quite catchy, and uh, we went with Is It Entertainment SA, and then um, we thought, all right, uh, let's see how we can get as many musicians uh, on on a, on a stage at the same time and get, get some money out of the whole deal. So, but at the same time, for the years up leading up to that, I've been involved in uh, Ham Renewable Energy, which is owned and uh, has the world patent for a renewable energy technology, which basically uh, recycles dirty water um, mm -hmm. and cleans it. At the same time, it uses it for waste to energy um, uh, um, waste. Um, management to energy um, a, a convert or transformer. So it basically takes, in a nutshell, our human waste, which you feed uh, uh, the technologies uh, manufactured by the Italians, and mm -hmm. uh, they have units in the north of Italy and in the south of Italy. Uh, so it's not an idea, it's actually a functional um, uh, system. It's working, the technology works, and uh, we have the world patent for that. And we would like to have the assembly plant here in Cape Town. We're looking at Atlantis where all the parts of the unit uh, uh, technology come from around the world. And um, yeah. I mean, we put up the first plant in Atlantis where we start assembling these and then distributing them around the world. So Cape Town is, well, wow, what better place to start off? And here we're sitting with a problem. I'm a member of the Monotone Atlantic Club. So I got to hear mm -hmm. what, the, what the heads of the club had to say. No one's allowed to go in the water. The city of Cape Town has closed that down. Oh, wow. They're leasing that for uh, 99 years from the World Wild uh, uh, Fund owned by Dr. Mornay Dupasi. And um, we're in talks at the moment with the city of Cape Town, the ward councillor for that area, Joy McCarty, um, to um, uh, offer a solution. And our solution was, well, let's see, let me get uh, Ricky and uh, then Fernando, obviously a big time producer, a long time friend of mine, over 15 years I've known mm -hmm. him. Um, oh, wow. And um, yeah, he's, his name's on the back of all the biggest, sorry, he doesn't play his own trumpet, so I'm going to. If you look on the back of the Sting <laughs> album or the Prince album or any of those big artists, you put out mm -hmm. the vinyl and it'll say F uh, Perdigal at the back. And uh, that's my friend sitting next to me over here. So the musicians are in no better hands than there. And uh, we're selling tickets for um, 250 people for the live event. It's a, it's a one time. It's like the Rolling Stones mm -hmm. are coming to Cape Town. It's the best, most beautiful yes. outdoor yes. new ever wished for we're going to be streaming it on camera we're going to have the beautiful flay behind them at the moment uh only 50 percent less than 50 percent of the species have birds of birds that were at the monotone equator uh, not sorry the flamingo flay is what most people know it as um otherwise called um uh, mm -hmm. uh yeah the, the reed flay wetland reserve uh, it's in the table bay nature reserve so everybody that uh, works in cape town that drives from Bloberg, table view along otto to placer road towards Pardon island every morning they'll know what I'm talking about. It's on the left-hand side, and you'll see the Chevron refinery on the other side of the flag. And uh, as I said, uh, the water, the aquatic clubs obviously suffering because um, the members are taking the boats up to, get, um, to go get their, you can have their water sports and their, their, you know, their outdoor activities and so on. Mm -hmm. So I thought, well, the only way to solve this problem uh, and to create a solution would be Let's give the musicians a platform, the most beautiful outdoor platform to to, to sing. I mean, yeah. singing. The euphoria of a live event beats that. So, um, myself and uh, Fernando and uh, the rest of the crew, uh, Rick and uh, Siobhan and Tina, the photographer, a youngster of 20, but with a lot of magic. Um, but, um, her, she's a high touch and so everyone is a very very um uh, high level of of um uh, uh, 
professional in it, uh, that are on board with about 10 in the production team all in all and we are mm -hmm. creating history with, uh, most musicians at one event uh, i think in cape town i'm not talking about the jazz festival i'm talking about individuals uh singing and we've got raven ray we've got Anne ray for nielsen she's just brought out a single now it's being launched you can support her she's looking for support and carol and she's number five in new york for six weeks now running um mm -hmm. I think raven at Raven Ray Productions, we've got uh, Hirsch Ford, who's our IT guy actually, but I heard him singing and playing the guitar. Uh, are you kidding me, Matt? He was tried to scoop, tried, he was uh, almost scooped up by uh, Chris Brown's um, producer a few years yeah. ago, and uh, he had commitments and responsibilities here, so he had to put that on the back burner. But so he has an opportunity for him. If you want to hear a man with a with a with a with the most beautiful voice, this is at your your opportunity. Um, then we've got um, music. We've got uh, um, Music Academy, MNM Music Academy, Rolf Pearson. Um, mm -hmm. We support, support students. And um, so uh, he'll be there uh, also to perform and also to um, promote um, their school, which is around the corner and Sunday. Uh, and we've mm -hmm. got Godfrey John. He's the king of theater. He's on the Magic. He's, his his theatre alone is magic, but he's bringing magic with, and he's bringing um, the most talented students. He sent me video clips already of them. He's also been advertising in the theatre magazines. And the, okay, and then uh, there's some other artists, like Mike, which is the and uh, sent him also to to a studio. Fernando uh, started Boss runs that one now. And um, this guy's also got a brilliant voice. So it's just, uh, man, it's just going to be a festival of great music. But uh, so let's give them that platform. I think Cat Tonian should buy into it. Um, from, um, she's our uh, PR lady. She's also busy organizing maybe something for us on SABC1. We're busy organizing that just before this interview started. So um, we're reaching out to the Cape Tonians. We're saying, um, we've got the technology that can clean up that flay. We can take all the pollution from the noon. We can take. Uh, we can have a collection point where we can collect all the plastics. The plastics was invented in 1900, the beginning of the century, 1906, and um, that plastic mm -hmm. today is still all around. It, it, it's gone nowhere. It's gone into the oceans. It's gone into the flay. Yes. That flay is going to the sea. Next thing, there'll be no beaches because the coli levels and the beaches are too high. Yeah, we have an opportunity to fix up. We actually have the investors. Really um, Mr. Washington Piro, he's very, very interested in um, the projects such as this and in the African continent. I think they work is now in South Africa, uh, as well. The company is owned by my partner, Mr. Sam Hamwe. You won't find a better mm -hmm. guy than that. He owns the worldwide patent for this and he is a patriot. Loves this, um, this country, he loves Africa. We're all Africans. We should all jump behind this and get this project up and running. I know in the United States, um, there are 67 of these um, units that are operating in the United States. And in 2018, they just started doing this, where they burnt, I think, 12% of their of their human waste, which uh, generated um, of their 287 tons of garbage. Today, they've got 67 of these units running, and they are... Um, yeah, yeah they're, they're, they're basically 87% of our, our dump sites and our waste that you see around us will be gone, evaporated, incinerated. It's basically incineration technology. Oh, so wow. when you feed it with our, mm -hmm. with our rubber and our plastics and our tires, and all that, that that's got, um, that incinerates our plastics and stuff at a 1,000 combustion chamber with coal so with no cfc to almost zero cfc almost zero um uh, uh, atmospheric pollution it's just an instant turnaround uh, of of solving a problem you can even use the species that are in that flare right now um you mm -hmm. need that in you know, uh, the end product is fertilizers. Those fertilizers will then fertilize the flay. Um, in other words, we will be getting the greenery back. We'll be getting the lushness back. We'll be uh, the E. coli levels of the uh, water will, will uh, drop. The water sports will begin again. Everything, so to speak, will go back to normal. And um, so, um, let's support the musicians first and foremost. Two hundred and fifty live. It's streaming it around the the world. 
uh, Desmond, who is the conductor of the orchestra, that will be the finale, which is a community um, philharmonic orchestra. They will be playing there as well. They have got, they, in, they involve the, the crowd. I'm telling you, you'll be sorry not to get a ticket and um, to be there and to be part of it. It's, uh, it's, it's history in the making. That's just the music side. Never mind what's coming behind them in that flare. And that is what uh, um, my main objective is. I entertainment with threefold. We're musicians, supporters. We support the environment and we renew renewable technology supporters. And um, Fernando, I'm going to take up all the time. Don't you want to say something as well? Are you online? Yeah, I am. I am. I am online. Uh, <laughs> how do you feel about this? How do you feel about this? I don't feel like this. Is it out of um, yeah, yeah, I think Mark's think... pretty much said uh, uh, everything that needs to be said. Um, uh, we really need to take some support. Right? There's people listening now. Radio people on chapter, chapter one radio. Yeah. We need you guys to go out to buyentertainsa.com and buy some tickets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We need to go mm -hmm. to It's called, uh, yeah, to come and uh, check out all these great artists. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we need to get that done. If you can't make it to the play, um, at least going to be live streamed um, with the with our production crew that is out there. And uh, yeah, you can you can get your on the phone in your running room in your car. Uh, for hundred bucks, you can do it. Yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, a, there's a crew of hundred people going to be there on the mic. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So that's, that's this is such a phenomenal, it's so phenomenal. Um, and of course, uh, partnering up with, uh, with Chapter One Radio, and we're calling everyone is calling all the nature lovers and the music fanatics to come along and join this worthy cause and a step forward to sustaining our natural resources and leaving a beautiful legacy for our future generations joined uh just joining the conversation with us is mark uh, and mr fernando as well and they were speaking about you know uh all those plastics that's been around for years and is still there and what is done what exactly is done uh you get these uh plastic uh, companies that promotes recycling but yet uh, they are the ones that produce these plastics and uh, you know we consume and um, of course uh, what is done by uh, well with the use of plastics I know there is someone that currently uh, recycles our upcycles these plastic bottles to then make sol solar panels and um, I think that's a great initiative to upcycle these so of course we are in conversation with Mark and Fernando and Hirsch as well. Hirsch uh, played us some guitar tunes and sounds um, last week, is it, on the Aspire show when I saw he had a guitar and I was like, hey, just come play for us here. <laughs> so Mark um, yeah. has mentioned that, uh, well, this is, of course, to you know just highlight and relieving um one of the two or two of uh, very significant bodies of haughty in the cape town area and that is zico flay zan flay yep. now that's yep. on my yep. area where i stay because table view yep. is a bit you know on the outskirts or further away from me but um yeah so zico flay and zan flay because I want to push myself, so I'm a sun type boy, and um, I want to go to the side of the world is because of the, the the congestion in the southern suburbs is a bit too much mm -hmm. for me. Yeah. And space around me, and also when you're living under the mountain, like I live the bush, uh, I had uh, right next to the Newlands Rugby Stadium. You see the beautiful mountain right there at the foot of it, but when you actually move to here. You see, and I suppose living in and in those places, you see what you see from here. You know, from the park side, you also got a different view. But my favorite view of Cape Town is always going to be the view here from Lobex Fan, looking over the water, looking at the, the mountain. You can see the, the 
This is the quality of us where I want to be. The electricity in Joburg, it's a different vibe. We're coming there too, but we're just fine. We're going to start here. And all the guys that are working on this project, I add, hang on, Hirsch, have you got to guitar, you buddy? <laughs> I'm sure he does. <laughs> I'd like to ask Jenga to be yesterday. We thought the interview was yesterday, so I wanted them to also jump in as students from the music camp. These guys are open today. And I wanted them to also vibe it up a little bit because otherwise I'll just talk and talk and talk. The vibe going here so the the public could see what we expect to see there, you know. So it'll be great to have those guys on like within the next two or three days. Or every day leading up, have a few of the artists that uh, that are playing, and they could jam a little bit and speak to the artists and uh, get to know them a little bit, and so they can do a bit of self promotion as well. Um, mm -hmm. I do know that we do need ticket sales. Um, so far, to be honest with you, we've sold one ticket, and I uh, just got a call from one of the artists today saying that they're also looking to buy two tickets and one ticket for their kid. So we're not going to charge the children that want to be there um, 200 rand, 250 rand for the live ticket. We're going to stick, they can buy an early bird ticket and also appear at the show and also be part mm -hmm. of it because kids, we've got two jumping castles there. It's one by Rawson, uh, Jacques, they in Bloberg Road. And uh, they actually hired, wanted me to tell you that they hire those out two parties for free. Um, so we're not paying for those. So thank you to them. Thank you for you guys, say Chapter One. I mean, you've really given us hope that um, we've gone to other radio stations and you guys have picked this up. So your listeners and, and to yourselves and the people that listen to the station, you guys are doing something good. I know we are. Everyone we speak to are Niasha now from uh, Johannesburg. She's picked the story up and looks like we're going to be on uh, SABC One as well coming shortly. I'll have that interview with them after this show. So mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of momentum. We've got a week to go. We're worried and concerned, but come what may, God works in mysterious ways. I'm sure. I'm sure things are going to happen for us. I'm so good, and thanks so much for your time, Mr. Mark and Mr. Fernando as well. And Hirsch is saying, you know, unfortunately, he won't be joining and playing his guitar because he's in bed, and that because you can get your ticket at www iEntertainSA.com. Please do make sure to get your tickets. The event is happening next week, and that is the 9th of October. I feel I need to be sure to get a ticket as well as I'm all about nature concerts. Mark, um, yeah. just to mention, do you guys work with uh, is it uh, hmm, Greenpeace? Uh, no, I, as, uh, no yeah. I, we haven't uh, spoken to Greenpeace uh, as yet. We're a, a young marketing team. It's basically myself and uh, Siobhan. Um, the two of us have been, Siobhan came on board three weeks ago and uh, she's a digital marketer by, um, by trade. So um, with me running around securing the Renew Energy um, contracts and we also got uh, Andromedic, which is a cancer treatment that uh, the fourth pillar of cancer treatment that I've been running around with that device as well, which is also going to be launched now. So we can also offer cancer treatment to the poor and the middle class, mm -hmm. which is about 60,000 Rand for the treatment. The medical aids are also and Merchant West Bank too. So I have mm -hmm. a lot. Is that Hirsch? This is a Then in and we got some good music lining up. And as Mark mentioned, that there will be be some liquor local entertainment coming through to you as um this is a six hour if i'm correct 
six hour yep. live music so, uh, festival. There will be kitties yep. entertainment as well. Please do note that vehicles get into the nature reserve for free. And um, you, of course, are welcome to bring a picnic basket. However, make sure to clean up after yourself. And of course, uh, the odd jumping castle. Available oh, yeah, and nice um, he's a cash vault bar and a gantry as well. So be sure to, you know, if you didn't uh, uh, pack your picnic basket, there will be food vendors available. And of course, we want to support these food vendors as um, you know, COVID 19 hit so heavily, and we want to generate more money into the economy of south africa by supporting these local vendors and of course there's glamping seating available so uh like mark says that uh, the community and conservation culture goes hand in hand so let's support this sa music and our natural heritage and have a jaw while doing so and that uh her she's still well she'll sharing his uh, baby with us on our live stream hello baby i think he's the the youngest guest to feature on a chapter one radio and alongside mark with mr fernando as well so mark um oh. you mentioned that uh, you are quite involved with a few campaigns so when exactly do you have time for yourself uh, no, I make time for myself. Uh, my girlfriend, Tanya Vaughan from International Hair Extensions, also one of the main sponsors um, of the show, uh, because she supported me all the way through this. And um, that hasn't been easy, but uh, she, I worked, I worked, uh, I had my three, three hours, four hours a night uh, sleep, like a lot of people have to do when they're starting a new project um, that comes with the turf. And um, uh, that was, um, you know, she reminded me that, you know, make some time for us, make some time for yourself. And um, I've been able to do that now with this magnificent team of people that have just bought into the idea. Fernando, Hirsch, Rick, Siobhan, Tanya, uh, all of them uh, are helping uh, give me more time uh, taking a look at uh, all the chapter one as well. And we the I should drive down up to the sea and I all those players there. It's like perhaps I think everybody needs to pull their weight and uh, let's first of all support the musicians. I've got the other thing in 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 um, in tow, you know. I've got the, the renewable energy thing sorted out. I've got the people involved that need to make the decisions. And, uh, I'll try to, but uh, that we, we've, we've got uh, under wraps. But I think uh, let's support the musicians and have a good time while we're doing it. I think we need that uh, personal human experience again. Maybe go out with the family and the kids and enjoy the experience that we're going to. We're not offering it. We, we've got the venue from the Milneton Aquatic Club, Brian Webb. Uh, what a cool guy. I mean, he's great. Um, he's got uh, Dave Blewett. He's a uh, the musician can give a perform at this bush uh, they got a book out there which was made by um, the Austrian man. He's in charge of Windsor the vision. And uh, he's made a beautiful bush pub there, the VIP area uh, for the members of the Mac today. We want to uh, 